building base modules, which is awesome. Um, the next step on the list is to really put some work into um, figuring out the uh, the automated resource management. Um, what that means is that we're going to have some system for um, keeping track of what resources are available to the player. He's trying to get up to here. He's going to get. He's totally stuck by these trees. You can do it. There we go. The forests are hard. Oh, he's he's making different paths. All right, he might get out. Okay, so. Um, yeah, we're going to have some, some system that controls what resources are available to the player and what the player is uh, sort of knows about in terms of like you know, pieces of factory that we have made and, and resources available to us on the ground. The next step, um, I'm sure many of you have played Factorio a number of times, um, and the goal in your next step, basically once you put down that little iron ore foundry, foundry thing, is to um, go and gather some coal so that you can power your iron ore uh, go and gather some coal so you can power your iron or, or wood, whatever, some kind of fuel. Um, and then use that fuel to get steel plates, and then use those steel plates to make some more... Um, there we go. Um, use that iron ore or wood or whatever to make some steel plates, and then use those steel plates to make more um, minor drills, and then probably use those minor drills to do a uh, burner to burner configuration so you have you know coal mining into each one. Um, so that would be, uh, that's kind of my next goal. But basically the idea is that like if I ask, if the player needs steel plates, or iron plates, sorry, the player needs iron plates, what's the best way to get them? Well, the best way to get them is to fuel this module that I have just built. Now, if I want to get iron ore, the best way to get that is probably just to dig it up uh, and not necessarily to um, do anything fancy around, you know, like building one of these drills and drilling it into uh, into a wooden chest or anything like that, although that might be another, another potential module. Um, and then as we get more and more advanced, the best way to get uh, various resources will be to go and pick them up from the factory. So that's kind of the, the eventual goal. There needs to be some kind of manager that keeps track of um, you know, what the, the player has available to them and how they'll be able to, to go and collect resources or collect um, completed recipes, completed modules. So uh, with it now exactly hitting midnight uh, in Santa Monica, I need to go to bed because I need to get up in the morning to go and uh, to get up and go to work because I have my you know normal day job. But thank you very much everybody for hanging out. This was probably one of my best nights in terms of viewership. So hooray! Uh, again, if you're watching on YouTube, I'm going to be hitting the button in Twitch that splits up the videos into 15-minute segments. So if you're watching on YouTube and you like it in 15-minute episodes, please leave me a comment or message to that effect. If you prefer it as a two-hour long, uh, or in this case it'll be two and a half hour long um, video that. Uh, you sort of have to watch all the way through if you want you know you don't get it broken up into episodic segments um, then let me know that as well and I'll stop doing it because um, honestly I'm not watching them myself so I don't know <laughs> I don't know what's better um, I would probably prefer it in small episodes because I can keep track of what I'm up to but it's up to you so uh, with that said thank you very much for watching everybody um, you can follow the uh, the development of the AI on github I will uh, do a git commit right now um, so I've made a bunch of changes to a bunch of different files. Uh, let me just check what I did in the goal machine. Oh, I just added that. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's fine. I'll leave that comment to that. Comments are usually not great, but it's okay. Uh, so this was... Uh, let's do it in Vim. Oh, God. Come on. Okay. So this was, uh, we implemented the, uh, what's it called, the clear area and automated base module building. Uh, cool. So you push origin master. Okay, seriously, MinGW, you're terrible. You're bad and you should feel bad. Okay, there we go. 
Um, okay, so thanks very much for watching, everybody. Uh, quickly answer some questions. Uh, does Factorio not expose their pathfinding? Unfortunately, no. Um, you can create unit groups out of things that are AI controlled. Um, so you could create, I did consider creating a biter and having that biter do the pathfinding for me uh, and then having the player follow the biter through the path found uh, path. Um, and yeah, yeah, it feels feels gross, but it might be the best thing to do given the way that this currently works. Um, but yeah, pathfinding is is a pain in the butt, and I tried a bunch of different ways. I tried um, doing a star search through all the tiles. Uh, that's really slow and work, but works okay. The issue with that then you can path around water grape, but you can't path around trees because trees are not tiles. Trees are entities that sit on top of tiles. Then did a bunch of work trying to um, find all the trees in an area, create a navigation mesh dynamically that uh, allows you to sort of navigate through them, and then a star search through that. The problem with that is there are a lot of trees. There are some dense forests that have a lot, a lot, a lot of trees, um, and that is problematic. So um, that is uh, a few things that I tried. This is a very basic steering mechanism. You can have a look at one of my previous videos uh, where I, I go over the development of that. Basically, there's a feeler in front of the player. Um, and if the feeler hits anything, uh, it applies a steering force. That's why he kind of like walks around in circles because he's, he's getting steering forces that are turning him um, and his own steering force to correct back to uh, his destination is not enough to counteract the collision steering force. Um, but you are correct. Soko Boy, that is a problem for me at some point in the future. Um, so, yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Feel free to follow along on uh, YouTube, Twitch, and GitHub if you're, if you're coding inclined. Um, you could download and run this mod. Uh, you need to do a little bit of clever naming with your uh, directories, but should be relatively easy to get set up. Um, thanks a lot for watching, everybody, and until next time, uh, keep coding. <laughs>